What's up guys? Today I'm going to finally get to show you the finished product of the Montezuma Pro Series slide top roll cart. So this one is going to be awesome, so be sure to check it out. All right guys, this is a video I've been looking forward to making for a very long time and I'm super excited about this one. You guys remember back a long time ago when I gave you the sneak peek of the Montezuma Pro Series roll cart. That was just a prototype. Today we have the finished product here and this thing is awesome. Cannot wait to show it to you guys because this is a great roll cart. Check this thing out. All right, as you've seen from the B-roll, this thing is loaded down with features. It's super heavy duty. It's super well built. And for you guys that may not be interested in all the schematics or whatever, um, at least go to the end of the video when I show it uh, unboxed with all the drawers out. And that way you can kind of see the detail that went into this thing. There was no corners cut. The box is completely powder coated inside and out. So it's going to hang in there with you. Um, the locking mechanisms is amazing. Be sure to look at the end of this video when we show you how it works as far as putting the wheels on it and stuff like that. Cause if you order one of these, you know, obviously you can put the wheels on it super easy, but this video will kind of walk you through everything you have to do to get your box set up and ready to go. So let's dive into the full details of this box. We'll go over all the measurements and then we'll put the part at the end where we assemble everything and get it road ready. So let's dive into this thing. Okay, as you've seen me standing behind it, you know the box is pretty tall. They've done a fantastic job. It has full rubber bumpers. It's a really cool design um, that they come up with. It's gonna protect your box, protect your vehicles that you're working beside of. Keep from getting it dented, scratched up all that good stuff. These bumpers are super nice on this thing. It's a really pliable, flexible, soft rubber. So that's gonna hold up really well. They've done a fantastic job with the badging. I think it looks really, really good. I'm a fan of the white and blue, as you guys know. Montezuma has killed it with this box. It's got the lift uh, unlatch system. As you see, it is a full metal latching system it's got one two three single slide drawers as you see and these are 100 pound slides on these so each one of these drawers will hold 100 pounds if you come down here to the double slide drawers each set of slides holds 100 pounds so that's 200 pounds for this drawer we'll go over the measurements in them that way you guys can see it so you've got two of those drawers and you've got an extra deep drawer at the bottom for all your power tools, storage cases, and whatnot. Now the locking system on this box is super cool. Um, if you've seen the part of the video later that I show when all the drawers are out, I give in detail of how the locks work. So be sure to take a look at that. It's really cool because you can see the whole inside of this box is powder coated. But when you look inside, this is the locking mechanism here that will catch I go through all of this later in the video with that, so be sure to check it out. But it's got your pry bar holders, all of that good stuff here, screwdrivers, and a whole cabinet screwdrivers, everything you need, and they'll go all the way through to the bottom. Now this is a double wall box, as you guys can see here. The double wall on the front and back. This thing will hold some weight. 
It has 100 pound per slide slides on the top. So this thing, you gotta worry about setting stuff on it and it being flimsy, this box is made to take it. So I kinda wanna go over some stuff inside the lid while we got it here and let's look at the depth. All right, so I got my trusty tape measure here. So you have eight inches clearance for any handles that you put in here. So it should work fine with any pry bar, screwdrivers, all of that good stuff. And your total teal area on the top is seven and a half, it looks like. So that's your teal area on the top for you to put all your sockets. Should hold plenty of those extra long sockets, whatever you got. It's a very nice box. It does have the power cord on the inside for right now. I'll go back here and show you guys the power strip. That way you can see how it's made. Obviously your cord would come out here to plug in your power strip. It's got two USBs, four regular plug-ins. It is a 15 amp circuit. So that's gonna be good. So let's take a look at how wide this box is overall. So we'll go here, stretch it all the way across. You're looking at a 37 and a half inch wide box. And it is 24 and looks like about a quarter deep. The drawers, we'll start with the shallow drawers. They come out all the way, almost clearing on the back, as you can see here. It don't like, but just a little bit, maybe, I'm gonna say half an inch. It's not even that much. It's about maybe three, three eighths. Um, so your drawer, your overall inside dimensions of your drawer is just over 32 inches. It's like 32 and 3 eighths in width of usable area. And the depth of those drawers is 20 and say 5 eighths. So you get a lot of use out of those drawers. We'll measure the height of those drawers. So it's about two inches, maybe an inch and seven eighths or so work good for most things. The double slide drawers, like I mentioned, these are 100 pound per slide drawers. It's gonna be the same dimensions, obviously, except for the depth. And that one is four and three quarters deep. You have two of these drawers. And the big one on the bottom, say double slide again. This one is seven and three quarters. So lots of storage area that you can use in this box. But one of my favorite things, I actually built this roll cart tall enough to use. So let me show you how tall this thing is. All right, off the ground, your 48 looks like about a quarter. So perfect for when you want to take a break, you can lean against it. When you're reading, using your laptop or whatever, it's super convenient. And for you guys that's never had a slide top box before, it's a game changer. Because you know, you always put your tools on the top and you have to move everything. If you have a flip top lid, these you can simply slide it open, get whatever you need out and shut it back. Now, one of the things I do want to mention, once I talked about using the top to store your tools and stuff on, it's got a lip, a recess area to keep your stuff from rolling off. That's super nice. Uh, it is a stainless top. Um, I do like the way they did the lock. You don't have to have that aggravating lever in the back like a lot of boxes have. When you lock this box with the key, it locks both the tops together as well as all the drawers. Very secure locking system on this box. They've done a hell of a job on it. Um, I mean, I have nothing to good, but good things to say about this box. Six inch tall casters, two inch wide. Comes with two static casters that do not move, stationary casters, whatever you want to call them, and two locking, greasable, swivel casters. 
which if you watch the video where we install it, you get to see it up close to those. But Montezuma has done a fantastic job with this Pro Series box. So be sure to check them out. Like I say, this is the white and blue. They do offer a metallic gray. So some options for you guys. They are shipping the tool trucks this week. So if your tool truck has mentioned that he's got them coming, you're fixing to get to see them in person. Extra heavy duty box. I think it was around 385 pounds for this box empty. Um, I mean, it's, it's definitely a high quality box, guys. No corners were cut. Super awesome box. So be sure to check these out. But that's kind of the rundown. That's what it looks like. I'm proud to see the finished product here. I'm proud to be a part of this box. I'm really excited about it. All right, so here you guys can see the inside. All the drawers are completely out of it. That way you can see that everything's fully powder coated inside and out. You can see the locking mechanisms, the way they keep the drawers from coming out. The construction of the box where it's double walled on the sides. So you can see the way the slide mounts are doing very high quality box they didn't cut any corners on anything and very well built well constructed box all right so i've got the box laying on its back so you can see where the wheels bolt on the handle will work on either side so i'm going to put the handle on this side of the box you can put it either way i'm going to put it on the side with the montezuma logo and here's the casters. You can see they're heavy duty ball bearing casters with a zerk fitting on the swivel side. So it comes with two swivels and two fixed. So I'll give you all the hardware. So I'm going to go ahead and get these installed, get it put on the bottom of the box, and we'll set it up, put the drawers back in it, and we're ready to go. Okay, so now you can see how the locks operate. Obviously the top's locked. It locks through this spacer here, locks the tops together. And as you can see, the drawer locks the way they work. Let me operate it so you can watch it. Locked, unlocked. All right, so these drawers are super easy to pull in and out. I'll show you how to take it out after I show you how to put it in. The easiest way is to just push your slides all the way in to the back. And then you just wanna flip it up, take the track, line it up in the Teflon grooves on each side of the slide. Just push it in. Once you have it in, you pull it all the way out. You see it works like a charm. To remove it, if you'll notice this side's got a little plastic tab. The other side's the same way. This side you pull up. The other side, you push down and it releases and comes all the way out. So get ready to push it back in, slide it back in the same way, and you're good to go. You see how the lift latches work, it's all metal, aluminum front, steel latches. Put the lift up on it, get it open. Okay, so to put the handle on, obviously there's the handle and it comes with the nuts and the bolts. So it's got Teflon lock nuts on there. And the way this works, I've decided to put mine on this side with the logo. You can get to the back of the bolt holes on the inside here. And obviously put your handle on your bolts through it. You're good to go. So we'll get that put on and that'll be finished. Okay, you can see how we got the lock nuts on the inside and the bolts on the outside through the handle. So it's good to go. It's secure, easy to roll around. So then we just gotta peel off 
all the white stuff to get our stainless uncovered and she's ready for use. So we'll get her power strip uncut here, get it run through the back. And when we plug it in, she'll be ready to go. All right, guys, as you've seen from this video, this is an awesome roll cart. It's hard to beat this cart. It looks good, it feels good, and it's made good. You cannot ask for more. Um, I'm super stoked to be involved with the box. Many of you may know or may not know, I did have a hand in helping design this box with Montezuma. It was a fun experience. It was something new that I've never got to do. And quite frankly, I think we built the perfect roll cart for the average technician to use. This thing is well built. Like I said, there was no corners cut. I know these are shipping to tool trucks this week. So your guys should be having them if they have ordered them. I know also Montezuma has them on their roll cart section of their website. So if you're looking at purchasing them, they do have them. They have this awesome white and blue trim and they also have a gray metallic gray box that is awesome. So be sure to check those out. Um, you know, I'm just glad to be a part of this and have something kind of go from your head to a finished product. And this is something I'm super proud of. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video. You'll check out these Montezuma slide top carts because these Montezuma Pro Series are definitely a step up. So anyway, that's the video this week, guys. Hopefully you liked it. If you do, be sure to hit that thumbs up. Check over there in the description for all kind of links. There's a merchandise link there as well. And if you're not subscribed to this channel, be sure to click that subscribe button. You guys have a great week and we will catch you next time.